Well, this is a very significant issue. Um, we have for sure called on the federal government um, to work across state lines to prevent um, people from really being tricked uh, into getting on buses. I've been here for 15 years, okay? I pay my taxes, I have a family, and I'm actually doing very well, but I work very hard. But I don't wanna pay for someone to come and take advantage of this country. If they're a contribute, are they contributing to this country? No. I think that they could be welcomed here in D.C. Um, I definitely do not think that, that is a sustainable, permanent solution for the immigration crisis right now. And I think that we definitely need our president um, or people in office to pay more attention to the issue or address it in more ways. I think that if people need a place to go, then they should be able to go somewhere safe regardless of where that is. I would love to welcome them in. D.C. is a very diverse city, um, and that's what makes it so special. But if there's no opportunities or solutions for when they get here, I think it would be hard for them, hard to bring more immigrants to D.C. Well, I feel like everybody should have a, have a chance at some type, of, some, some type of way of getting out of the desperation that they're in. Yes, I think they should be welcome here. I mean, this is the nation's capital. Um, nothing happens without it coming through Washington, D.C., so I think that we should welcome all residents. I think there's, there, I don't have a problem with it if there's an agreement between the two entities, like Texas has an agreement with D.C. to bring them here. So, like, for example, if Texas solicited to other states and said, hey, we have, you know, we're over capacity with illegal immigrants, can we bring them to your state? you know, then I think it's fine, but just to put them on a bus and they show up in D.C., I don't think that's cool. They should have some type of way to find a place to put these people at in Texas. Texas, for as big as it is, with as many resources as it has, I'm shocked that they would choose to bus people um, all the way out to D.C., which arguably, like, well, not arguably, significantly smaller. So I don't doubt that we lack the resources here, but if there's space for people to go, then we should let them come. D.C is already suffering through a homeless crisis right now. And I'm worried that the immigrants coming here will be suffering the same thing. I think that they should be welcomed and there should be some type of plan in place, you know, for them to be able to get situated here.